But like hey. TJ is there. He is indeed. Yes, hello. Hey TJ, how it goes? Hey, it's going. I have a job now. Yay. And I don't do anything. <laughs> I mean, you said you're a uh, station attendant for a donation drop off? Yes. Hmm. I've been there for, I believe, three weeks at this point and have had exactly two people bring anything. I mean, that's better than zero, I guess. Mm. As far as I'm aware, there's no, like, uh, quotas or anything like that. It's just. Uh, make sure that there's a person there. How could there be a quota if it's based on people willingly donating? The, uh... So the main concern that I had is just that it's fairly large. Because it, uh... The space that they got was... I think a phone store or something like that. So okay. something of roughly that size. And that is way bigger than uh, what they would need for that. And right, it's just like a holding place before it gets sent to the actual donation center. Mm -hmm. So, like, if if there was like a uh, an abandoned like McDonald's or something that they could get instead, that would be like far closer to the size necessary. But this is like it's just like a way bigger floor plan. So my like underlying concern is that if it doesn't uh, have a lot of people showing up or anything, they might uh, decide to do away with that location. Right. But that's also like not really uh, my like deal with it. Because, you know, I just sit there. Um, I do, like, have the, uh, information. Hey, what's up, Smeagol? Uh, I do have the information for the guy that, like, does the location stuff. And I did specifically point out, like, vacant lots that were closer to my house. So, ideally, if something goes on with that, they could, like, move to one of those. Gotcha. This game is apparently very taxing on my computer's graphics card because my UI for my Streamlabs is not updating. Hmm. I mean, it is a pretty uh, intensive game. Yep. Just gonna play it on performance mode. This is the same engine that was used to make Death Stranding. Downloaded kick since a streamer of yours moved, and unfortunately, you might not be a mod anymore. I guess let's try it this way. Side quest away. Um. Salty because you were given it then taken away. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. Clear that up later. That kind of reminds me, I only just uh, recently learned that the whole, like, kick streaming thing is separate from, like, kick the um, messenger app. I didn't even know that was a thing. It, it was a big annoyance a few years ago because it would uh, flood certain uh, social media things and stuff with... Uh, Bots and the like going like, hey, go to my kick page or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like typical scam stuff. 
But uh, that was K-I-K, -I, I believe, and this is like, ick like the word. Hmm. How do you spell? Uh, crouch in the thing. <laughs> well, I, how, how do you crouch? <laughs> I can't what? help you with that one. Uh, That's I think it might what you would think. be circle, perhaps? It's one of the face buttons, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's not the dodge button. It's your circle. Taking messages a really long time to load in. I see there's like a paragraph. Um, played with a friend last night. I unfortunately lost a few games pushing you further from GC rewards. That's alright though. However, you got ghosted in a way by another friend. Supposedly he wanted to play, then his party started filling up. What had happened was that he messaged multiple people, not expecting to receive responses. Apparently, all of us responded, and you were the one left out. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, I could pull up the thing here just to have like a bigger. That would be nice. Then I think I can have it paused without like my phone turning yeah. off, but. I don't know. Can't be too prepared. Yeah, that that's unfortunate. I I've had to do that to some people before. And typically, though, I like wait to hear a, a yes or a no from a person before I reach out to another one. Um. I mean, those kind of situations are always tough. Yeah. Right. I mean, I've I've definitely reached out to multiple people, knowing that like I won't get a response from half of them, even if I waited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So part of it comes down to like knowing the group. Unfortunately, it just doesn't go well. I should probably... Sometimes it works out, but sometimes it just. Ouch. Ow. I mean, it just doesn't work out, I guess. Square. Square. It's not correct. quite the right word, but. Yeah. Uh, I would say yes. If if the person knew you were available and reached out and then reached out to other people, despite knowing that, then I would say yes, it is worse. Yeah. For I me personally, say... that makes it worse. Good. I would say if he knew you'd be available, he would have saved a spot for you. And just been like, oh, well, I know this person that I reached out to will be available if the rest of y'all, even if the rest of y'all uh, weren't, so. That, that is how I personally choose to take those. Because, <clears throat> like, if you're regularly available when someone reaches out to you, I, I definitely want to hear a negative before... I said, give away that spot. Mm. Oh, cool. I did catch up. Mm. <laughs> Smack him in the butt. <laughs> Spank. <Wasn't> even prepared. <laughs> Bad boy. I mean, he was rich though, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
I has lots of fridge wood. Mm. Oh, hi. That would have been really funny if that was the only one here. <laughs> right? That is like an important thing. The, uh, it's like a uh, nondescript, just like important uh, thingy. Mm -hmm. um, you probably need to get closer or like look at it. Kaboo. He told me he doesn't care about ranked anymore. Later in that conversation, he said he's grinding ranked, thus he didn't have room to play. It was a party of three. Okay. Being an asshole. Yeah, kind of. Not, not to be like, Looks like a, a jerk about it, it just sounds like they're, they're not being your friend. Mm hmm Like, it's really not that hard to just be up front with someone. Mm -hmm. Um, blood trail, I assume? I think you should be able to see it with the, uh, vision trail, but I don't remember. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, speaking of uh, vision and stuff like that, did you see the um, new Assassin's Creed thing? No, I haven't. It looks like they're going back to uh, the like Middle East uh, Brotherhood sort of uh, gameplay style. Hmm. Neat. Like, at this point, I'm not really sure if I'm interested anymore. Yeah, same. Like, they just kind of got too far from what I enjoyed about it originally. <clears throat> so I'd have to see how the new one is. Um. Speaking of just games in general... I went the wrong way. Um, what do you guys think of Legend of the Tears of the Kingdom? I have not played any of it yet. Same. I know you I can make... I not anything about it. Nope. Like the, met, like the, the weapon surpassed the Metal Gear. Um, no, I've been trying to avoid spoilers because I know I'm going to get it at some point. I saw someone make a contraption that uh, was interesting. Are you uh, talking about this? Of the standing variety? Uh, yeah. It had a very prominent uh, flamethrower attachment. Yes, I've seen that one too. I also saw someone crucify a Korok, which was funny. <laughs> I've seen multiples of those, actually. I've also seen one of those rocket-powered. I will eventually find out about that. Like, none, none of this at all makes any sense, even if you know the context. Yeah, like, I, I understand you can, like, glue things together, but mm -hmm. apart from that, I literally know nothing about the game, so. Mm. Yeah, I don't know anything about the game either. I've just seen people do these one, these random things. Like, I, was on, I saw someone make, uh, like, a, a Metal Gear, I guess it's Metal Gear Solid. That's the one where they talk about a weapon to surpass the Metal Gear. Um... A weapon to surpass Metal Gear, I believe, was four. 
but I honestly don't know at this point. Gotcha. But they like to like a video where they talked about a weapon suppressed in Metal Gear, and then they showed one of their creations, and it was literally just a, like a Metal Gear Rex. Mm -hmm. Also, Smeagol, uh as opposed to more Mason. Yeah. Um, I I would definitely, if that is what you're getting from them. Always better to be upfront about that kind of a thing. Really? Uh oh, spotted. What do you mean spotted? No one was spotted. Oh yeah, also speaking of Metal Gear, uh, there's apparently going to be a Metal Gear board game. Oh, neat. Interesting. And it comes complete with like little, uh, like D&D style minis of uh, Snake and a few others. And also, um, Metal Gear Rex if you pre-order it. Are they like die cast or are they uh, plastic? Um, I believe they're plastic, but I don't know the details of it. Okay. It'd be kind of cool if they were die cast. Mm. Um, or uh, if they were like uh, Warhammer 40k style minis, where you like put them together. Um, that I don't know. I think they just come as like finished pieces, but they are uh, unpainted. So... Okay, so they're, they're a little more like the, the 40k style then. Mm hmm. I find it strange how I can dislike your gameplay yet still wants you as a teammate. Yeah. Yeah, people are weird. It does sound a little fishy to me. From the little from like the little bit of nothing that I know about the conversation, it kinda just seems like the guy's an opportunist. Hmm. No, because <clears throat> I don't know them, so I can't really say. <clears throat> but it's kind of skeevy, not being not being straight up with your friends. Mm -hmm. Just make some of this stuff, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't remember how the upgrading works in this. Like, I know you get actual outfits and stuff that change some of that, but. I don't remember if you make that also, or if you just like find them or buy them or whatever. Mm -hmm. but there's only like so much of that that you can do this early. Yeah. That's twisted. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. If Bond did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Yeah, I don't think you want to des desecrate the shrine like that, Aloy. Well, I mean, he was, like, exiled or whatever, right? So I don't... Yeah, for the, ten years. The shrine part doesn't strike me as odd. Who are those scrappers picking at? Jelly leg says hello. Hi, Jelly. How you doing? Maybe this is a stretch, but maybe, just maybe, like a big stretch, but you know, maybe, maybe you have some skills that are valuable to the team. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Seems like a fair assessment to me. I mean, as long as you're not letting the bee like drive your car, Brom, I think you're doing pretty well. Looks 
looks like it might be updating a bit faster now. Yeah. Strike. Oh, dude, stop it. There we go. Now, that was very weird behavior because I thought it knew where you were. I think it was alerted by a different one. She's in trouble. So it was like in combat mode, but it didn't know where I was. He struggles to 1v1 you, you know. Um, they made him rage so hard he told me he'll never 1v1 because you're just that good. That is like the wrong attitude, in my opinion. Sure, what's up, girls? What you what you want? Thank you. I thought those watchers were gonna tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. She's having a conversation that I do not remember. Ah, uh, it's a different side quest. <laughs> Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Alana. Whole message is sarcasm. Mm-hmm. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too. But then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I mean, eh? That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. I'll get it. For your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh no. Oh, that guy. Go to him right away. Oh. Thanks again. I thought he was talking about like a ten-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, he did make it seem like she was incapable of surviving in any capacity by herself. She looked perfectly capable. Sir, how did you go through this rock? He's half ghost, obviously. He's Danny Phantom. His name is Fenton. Mm, mm hmm. What was, the, what was the name of his like all ghost alternate reality self? Like not like like Daniel Ghost or something. <laughs> Daniel Ghost, that's him. <laughs> 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 the, you know what I'm talking about? the one that like says the, like, like evil all, one like, like all ghost the and evil have, ones where he like ghostly whale before like with the guy main character Danny did I don't remember um I'm just gonna type in Daniel Ghost <laughs> are you talking about like Vlad the no no, no the like, alternate reality the alternate timeline version of Danny oh when he, like, he was used all with, ghost yeah. and he was like big and buff and he's like, you're too weak to beat me. Right. And then he did, like a ghostly whale. And then in the show, Danny goes, maybe. 
but I know stuff you don't. And then Brett Heath's himself ghostly whale. And he's like, you shouldn't be able to do that until you're like 25. He's like, well, guess what? I did it anyways. <laughs> um, just saying that many players don't know my potential until they 1v1 you. And in ones, you play so much different than team modes. Not at all like you'd think. Yeah. Because you're very defensive in uh, any other kind of a mode, but as far as ones, you're like, possession is constantly yours. There's no turns, it's just always Smiggle's turn. Wait, wait, what does it mean follow the tracks? I... But... Was I not? <laughs> Why is the marker all the way back there? Okay, so I looked it up. The Danny Phantom wiki literally just calls him Dark Danny. Danny Dark, uh, uh, Also known as Dan Phantom. Dan Phantom? So, Daniel Ghost isn't that far off. <laughs> Sweet. Daniel Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Ghost. Wait, what? Oh. Meh. Did not mean to do that. It's the supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? Because clearly they're trying to lure someone or something. I don't know. He's away. They want to make a cool murder mystery. <laughs> Mario, I'm scared. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. Okay. Dude, what's going on? Why can't they go up? Oh. You have to go left, apparently. I won't listen! Uh, uh, not until you promise! What is going on, I dude? Think he's having like a golem situation. I will! I'll, I'll kill myself! I'll kill myself before I hurt her! You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge bomb. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? Come closer so I won't have to shout. <laughs> Use that big brain. I'm not shouting. I know you're a good listener. So come listen to me, just as you would the others. They... they say not to listen. <laughs> but... Alara always said, never ignore a speaker. I don't Mercy. watch Mercy. Right. Mer uh, Mercy all that much. Um... That's better. Now tell me... It's been a minute. Spirits of the Forgotten. I could see it, though. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices... Never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Oh, is with me. They take care of me. Sounds Keep like me somebody had a psychotic oh, break. Except when they scream. It's like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you. It's so weird to me that the volume of, like, voices no, 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 in this game no, no, no. vary Please, so wide. Like, Brom is, like, incredibly you. loud mm -hmm. on my end. No. Oh, like, yeah, he's, her, like, screaming. She's, like, she's, I can't even hear her. I don't know if it was the uh, volume or just the voice, but the lady earlier was also, like, really high volume. Yeah. 
I want to say they didn't, like, mix people well. They probably just left the voice lines as they were. He hears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes. Just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, they're... They're whispers. They, they fill my head with screams. Yeah. <laughs> Rom isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay, a cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory, and may the Forgotten leave you be. That's not gonna happen. I have the relic from them. <laughs> Remarkable reward box. Uh, you might take some drafts before creating content. Yeah, and if you ever need anyone to like run something by just to let me know i have very little advice i can give on that front but i can Back. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, the only advice I can really offer is just to like draft things, like really plan them out, and this applies more for like pre-recorded things. But I have a whole like entire document of stuff that I've just been writing down for uh, content that I'd like to make at some point. They come at the worst times, yeah, they really do. Um, the other thing they said was, uh, they think the main issue is the voice confidence and ideas and all that, which is understandable. It's very uh, nerve wracking to like start something like that. But uh, one piece of advice I can also offer, if it's more on the live end, is uh, don't be afraid of just, like, not talking. Like, go to any of your favorite streamers and, like, make a note of how often they actually are just silent and how long. Because I started doing that recently and it made me a lot less, like, self-conscious in that regard.
for recording because you like the editing side of things. Yeah, that makes sense. They're two completely different animals. Like, doing it live, you definitely just have to be comfortable with not really caring about a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And just being willing to go with, you know, well, the stuff's gonna break and you're gonna have to deal with it live. There, there's never going to be a time at which you don't have to deal with something live. But editing, you can take as much time as you want. You can backlog things and start to track how you want to release things. Like, you, you can very much organize the madness that'll happen from uh, creating content like that, so long as you don't just lose stuff. Mm -hmm. And in uh, that realm, you can try to, like, set certain periods of, like, recording and stuff like that to keep losses like that minimal. Where she saw the scrapper. Like it's it's not fun place. when you record for like two three hours and then have nothing. But if you only lose like say thirty minutes of that three or four hours, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. In very uncomfortable times, the times you've been on my stream. Yeah, I mean, you always have the option to just not let chat hear you. <laughs> like, I, I can mute your voice. You just have to let me know. The trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. You don't say. You can bet it crosses the river. Highlights. Yeah, it's across the river. I, I can see that. It, it actually didn't lose it. Thank you. Time to see Karst and get a tripcaster. Tripcaster? What is a tripcaster? So that is like a... um basically a tripwire thing, uh, I think. There are two, like, wire-based ones. Mm -hmm. I think the rope caster is the cool one that I'm thinking of, though. This trip caster, I think, is just, like, planted stuff. Then you can convert them into MP4. Yeah, um, I believe I have that option as well. Just because it's, you know, set to, um, or it, Streamlabs is built off of OBS. There. Time to get that spear. Is it? I think we should get closer. Or at least higher up. I would recommend not getting involved by this whatever. Yeah. Mostly do not get for your characters. Continue that. Alana, 
will be happy to have you back. You know what would make this game really amusing to watch? What? Is every time you shot an arrow, it did the Neil the Guy says it. Neil. So. Neil. Neil. It's like having the Michael Roddenberry. Nice. Every time you sharpen a weapon, in Monster Hunter. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh boy. They hit pretty hard. I mean, that one did almost one shot you. Not when they're dead. To be fair, he could still explode because he is a machine. That is fair. We haven't even gotten to the ones that actually do that yet. I feel like my nightmare in this world would be to see a machine that goes out of its way to maul other machines just so it can upgrade itself with their parts. Mm -hmm. That would be that horrifying. Only... What about a mosquito machine? A mosquito machine? Yeah. Now do you mean like of a comparable size to a mosquito or just like a giant mosquito shaped thing? Both. Uh, I don't know. One Punch Man has taught me to not, uh, you know, be that bothered by mosquitoes. However, you are not, uh, Saitama. So, I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. <laughs> Just slap it in the face real hard. We're good. Yeah, but if it was a mosquito-sized machine, though, there'd be lots of them, more than likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I uh, was thinking of making an introduction like, you'll talk about your plans for the channel while playing once, then commentate on your gameplay while giving advice. Yeah. I mean, it's all up to what you do. There's a lot of scripting that goes into stuff like that. Um, but also, like, especially with Rocket League content in general, um, you the sound of leaves rustling. It's come for me. Um have to be chill with ad libbing a lot too, and more so making an outline structure from which ad libbing is okay to do. Mm -hmm. A uh, middle ground I would suggest, which is also something that I do occasionally, is to like record yourself off the cuff, just like generally uh doing whatever it is you want to actually make, and then take notes and edit from there. Mm -hmm. Turkey squawk. Ooh. At least those ones don't really care about me. I just want that thing on your back. That's all I want. Ah! Hi!
Looking good. One aggressive drug buy. Yeah, I know, right? Most of them get scared, but some of them will get uh, aggressive. They get offended. He just turned off his favorite program. I can see why he'd be mad. He just sat down, had his hungry man have <laughs> a bowl. He turned off his program. Yeah, I'm just an awful person, you know? <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said you turned off the program. There's only so much TV you can watch without being rotted. That's why you gotta turn it off every now and then. <laughs> I saw that one coming. Same. Oh, uh, that's fine. I got the thingy over here. I just want the things, you know? As a random question to you, have you done any pulls in farm lately? Um, I had one, uh, I don't remember what it was, I already had the character, but it was one of the recent things where I just got a, uh, one of the focus people on the free summon. Yeah, I got, I got a Mia from one of those. Mm -hmm. Not terribly useful anymore. And I was debating on doing another uh, 40 for the Krom banner. Uh, Risen but, Krom? Just because there hasn't been anything that really interests me lately, and I'm uh, up to like. Pretty stacked. Mm, I'm I up to like 300 orbs, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Thok. That's right. At first you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When yep. I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I mean, people are not supposed to speak to me, not the other way around, necessarily. I would say, the facial expressions in this game are like, mega stiff. Mm. Really, though? I mean, this came out after L.A. Noir, right? Thank you. Yeah, so they definitely had decent face tracking, but it it kind of looks like people had the um. I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you. I actually think hers are fine comparatively, but it looks like everyone's using like a a maybe stock kind of facial structure, and then the they're animating very specific zones of it rather than using the face as a whole muscle right they may also just not get like actual face tracking and stuff being like npc characters yeah they the... just get lower budget allocation mm -hmm. yeah sure. while um la noir is very advanced it's not a very good measuring stick for that kind of thing because of the no, but it's the first one i thought of mm -hmm. But they created a whole basically a whole new set just for Ellie Noir to do, to, to do that. Mm, they had a like very specific setup that was extremely expensive and also not very practical for anything other than the kind of game that they were making. True, Ellie Noir was at one point one of the most expensive games made, wasn't it? Because of both the music licensing and the having to create a, the new facial facial tracking tech. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. It is not. It is not a fair measuring stick, but I'll still say it anyways. <laughs> I will also say I'm not sure how different it is from the uh, PlayStation version, because I know uh, PC ports can get a little stinky with that kind of stuff, and I just do not remember how things looked. Ever. I will still use it as a measuring stick because because uh, Elinor came out in 2011, mm -hmm. and this came out in 2017. We have points to spend. I didn't know this was a thing. 
Yeah, you get your uh little uh progress things. There are some that are real good. I think you can look further down. Yeah. And I would uh suggest like going through the paths that lead to those. Some of these I've like forgotten that they were powers, but that one is very good. I yeah, I was looking at that. I'm like, I see, can see myself. Stealth kill is a must. Yeah. <laughs> Strike yeah. from below. I above I, is a little more useful. Yeah. Below is kind of whatever. You say. And that I think is just strength stuff. This seems like it would be mm -hmm. good. And there are, of course, a couple where uh, you don't get into the good stuff until you're like... I feel like this is down. also a must. Um, you're in situations like that a lot less than you would immediately think. But mm -hmm. it, it does help. The, uh, the like, Breath of the Wild... Uh, arrow time thing is probably the more useful one. Yeah. Which conveniently is the previous thing anyway. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do these three. And you might also want to take a look at the other yeah. sections just to... I feel like these are more quality of life. I'm overthinking, but I don't know how to make an intro or outro. <laughs> Don't want to copy someone else's intro or outro. Um, I, I just... It just depends on what you want to get out of it. It, it really depends on your personality. Um, more than anything, honestly. A lot of people don't bother with an outro these days, also. Yeah, it's like a, I see it next time or whatever. It's like basically, however, you would say goodbye to a person you're actually talking to, and if you plan on seeing them again or when you see them again or whatever, or going yeah. to like a, a function yeah. of some kind. Mm -hmm. Or if you, you have know, like um... the, the way you want your channel to feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, the feeling you want your channel to be like, take Beard Bros, for example. A lot of times they'll sound off with later man because that's the feeling you get because they're the fe feeling they they want from their channel is you're on the couch with them playing the game with them kind of deal you're mm -hmm. playing with friends yeah but it depends on what you want your channel to be in that sense right yeah you i didn't kill you Thanks for watching. Never come back unless you want to, lol. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Get out of my house. <laughs> Closing time. Don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Goodness knows I'm not staying here. <laughs> I got a date with the bed. Time for a nap. Oh jeez, I was recording all that. <laughs> 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 That's a good one, actually, though. <laughs> just do, like, bits like that. It's like, oh, crap, I forgot to turn that. Well, you know, I'm just going to post it anyway. Bye. <laughs> no, you just got to say, we'll fix it in post. And then you cut <laughs> off there. We don't change anything. <laughs> oh, well, we'll fix it in post. Me, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it in post and then five whole minutes of just silent black screen. <laughs> and then at the very end you gotta have a single a single picture of like a fruit bowl or something no you you edit it together is that oh well we'll fix it in post and then you stitch that into the beginning right before the, <laughs> the intro to the next thing wow. you upload <laughs> perfect continuity it's like you never even left <laughs> oh, man.
That's kind of a sad existence. But that's okay. We're having a good time. <laughs> also, I'm looking. I was looking up the LA Noir uh, face cam stuff. Apparently, they use 32 cameras to capture facial expressions from multiple angles to get their thing. Mm. Also, analysts may be suggesting that the game took over 50 million US dollars to create. That's a lot of money. One of the most expensive games. Get a tree. How dare. At the time, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. now you got like top, I think, is Cyberpunk 2077. Oh yeah, for sure. That would definitely help with engagement. In Cyberpunk, yeah, that that was a one seventy four mil. Mm. To the dev cost. Yeah, I don't remember the one forty two mil marketing cost. I don't remember the number, but I know uh, Metal Gear Solid Five was pretty up there too, because the budget thing was one of the points Konami was upset about. Yeah, so let's see. These are them going from highest to lowest. I'm going to ignore Star Citizen, because it's not out. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, technically Star Citizen is listed as first, because apparently their dev cost is $415 million Or oh, something. Jesus. Hmm. Supposedly. Regardless, they're not out, so they don't count. Tough, but I'm used to it. You got Cyberpunk 2077, then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 from 2009, of all times. The one before that, Final Fantasy VII from 1997. What? I feel like the remake would have. Yeah, had right. Because they built the remake from the ground up, and they didn't even do the whole thing yet. Yeah. I mean, I assume they're ordering these based off dev cost and marketing cost together. Mm -hmm. Right. So for that, the two together, it's a one. Is an estimate of 80 million to 145 million total costs. Interesting. And then before that, after that one, it's Halo 2, then Destiny, and then Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Dead Space 2, Grand Theft Auto 4, Shenmue from 1999, <laughs> Battlefield 4. Genshin Impact, Forspoken, uh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Rift, Watch Dogs, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Gran Turismo 5, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment, Heavy Rain, Final Fantasy 9, E.T. The Extraterrestrial from 1982, <laughs> Darksiders 2, Half-Life 2, Kingdom Under Fire 2. Mm -hmm. And then there's unofficial. Those are those are official figures. And then there's unofficial based on analyst estimates. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's a different... The list is quite different for that one. Right? So on that one, it starts off with Grand Theft Auto 5. Right? Mm -hmm. Then it goes Red Dead Redemption 2. Halo 5 Guardians. Marvel's Avengers... Final Fantasy VII Remake, Max Payne 3, Tomb Raider, Resident Evil 2, and Halo 3. Yeah. Oh, Bob. You'll end up with Carpal Tunnel. <laughs> And the next one's just get out. <laughs> um, but speaking of outros, I think I am ready to wrap up because my head is hurting a lot. Um, trying to break through your brain with a lemon and a gold bar. It's like one drill going in one ear and another in the other, and they're meeting in the middle. Sounds like a good stopping point, anyways. Yeah. So, thank you for hanging out, Smiggle. I really appreciate it. Give yourself carpal tunnel on that like button. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. Uh, it depends on how I'm feeling after church. Uh, but I definitely should be streaming on Monday. Um, side note, we're gonna start our D&D stream back up every Monday night. Starting on, like, the 12th. <laughs> oh, I'm at last, TJ. Hmm. I'll um, see you next time, Smiggle. Bye.